Hey guys, how's it going? I am back for a video on a newborn diaper bag. This is your first time here. Please like and subscribe and comment down below so we know who you are. Let us know if this video helped you. Okay guys, <clears throat> so let's dive right in. First of all, I wanted to show you guys my diaper bag. I kind of hinted at it before, but let's get down and dirty with the diaper bag. This is my diaper bag. It is not a fond design diaper bag. I looked into those, I really wanted one, but I couldn't afford the $160 price tag that comes along with them. So, this is a Miss Fong diaper bag. I will link it down below. I got it on Amazon. It looks just like the fond design diaper bag, and actually, while I was at CVX Live, I took this with me to get kind of used to hauling it around, and somebody thought it was a fond design. So, $35 price tag definitely warrants the buy. So let's dive in and see what I have in here for my newborn diaper bag. So in my front zipper, I just have kind of my stuff. Right now it's got some cash and receipts. Yeah, so all of that fun stuff from the holidays. And then in this pocket is usually where I throw my keys when I'm going into the store when I'm driving. My phone is in here. Papers for Zane from the doctor's office and that stuff. And then of course the two important things when you are going out, especially in the winter with a newborn baby, are hand sanitizer and hand sanitizer. Always needed. You maybe think that you're fine, but a thousand people that touch everything else while you're out are not fine. And then a pen. Just because I usually take a list with me, I'm sure that's why it's in there. So I usually carry you guys in either this side pocket or this one, and then extra batteries and stuff for the camera in these little pockets. And that's pretty much it. So let's get into the inside. First thing is this little pouch that I got from Walmart. There was two pouches with it and it was $3. And I just use this to carry stuff for me. We have a pad, my Cole stool softener, and ibuprofen for pain of postpartum. Um, I'm not taking a lot of this anymore, but I keep it with me just in case I need. Um, next, can of formula because we had issues with the breastfeeding. We are now strictly formula. I have my Pampers little tote. I got this out of the Amazon baby registry box. It was a freebie. I'll link that up in the corner right here so you can get to that vlog and see how to get your own free Amazon baby box. So in here, I actually just have some diapers. Zane is still in the first two weeks of his circumcision, so we have some Vaseline and some triple antibiotic for him. And I have an extra thing of the Freebie Honest Wipes. And a changing mat, I actually went to Walmart once without this changing mat since I've had Zane. I will never go without this again. This came with a diaper bag. I was like, oh, I probably don't need it. I didn't really use it much with my first two kids. Yeah, I will not be leaving home without this. Wipes, extra wipes, because you can never have too many wipes. A little rattle toy from Grandma's Christmas. Bottle, empty, ready to go. This is something my mom showed me, which I absolutely love. I put warm water in it for Zane because with him having to have the bottles, I always need warm water and I don't always trust the warm water that you can get out of bathrooms and everywhere else. You don't ever know what is in it. So this way, this will keep the water warm and I can just take it with me, throw it in here, and it's ready to go whenever. I will put a link in the description below to where you can get those on Amazon as well. We have some ready-made formula. I have 
these, which you guys told me were great for keeping diapers in so they didn't smell. They're like the little doggy poo bags, but for diapers. So that is just in there. I have a burp cloth. This, <laughs> this is the last thing. This is just like my have everything in case of emergency bag for Zane. It's got some extra hand sanitizer, got some infant pain reliever, some gas drops, baby shampoo, and lotion, and some more lotion and shampoo. So that is it. That is all that is in my diaper bag. I will tell you guys that I absolutely have loved this diaper bag. This is not a sponsored video, by the way, but I have really, really liked this bag. Disclaimer on the diaper bag, I knew this was a keeper when we went for Thanksgiving. Zane was on his Billy Light. Um, I had just been informed that I needed to be breast pumping, so I was breastfeeding, pumping, and taking formula. And we had the Billy Light stuff, and I was still postpartum and had to have the Perry bottle and all of that fun stuff to go with me to the bathroom. It held all of that in this bag. So for me, that's totally worth it. it says it is definitely big enough to carry anything that you can throw at it. If you like the fun design bags, but can't afford to spend $160 on a diaper bag, I think this is a great alternative. Thank you guys for coming along and thank you guys for understanding as I have been taking a break. I'm gonna try to get back up to three videos a week, but I don't honestly know when that is gonna happen. It is totally dependent on Zane. Please comment down below if you have something that I absolutely need in my diaper bag that is a must have um, and let me know that would be great and let me know if any of these tips or any of these things are something new that you've never thought of. All right guys, we'll see you again next time. Bye.